Hey, hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to explain you how to install Open vSwitch on a Proxmox server. Uh, Open vSwitch is nothing but it's a virtualized managed switch. It has multiple layers over there. I'm not going to do I'm not going to do a deep dive into what is Open vSwitch here. But let me tell you that uh, this is basically a managed virtualized switch. And uh, Proxmox supports manage virtualized switch, uh, the open vSwitch out of the box. So what are we going to do here is that the first thing is that let me let me tell you what is my setup currently looks like. I have my main router, which is running on 10.10.01 slash 24. And I have my OpenSense firewall installed. And uh, this OpenSense firewall installed on a Proxmox. And uh, it is running, it has a two uh, network adapters. The first network adapter, again, it's a virtual network adapter here. Uh, it's a WAN and another one is a LAN. So WAN, network, WAN network adapter is running 10.10.0.17.16. Uh, and my LAN is 192.168.1.1. Uh, if I go to the Proxmox server, if I go to my OpenSense virtual machine, if I go to the hardware, you can see here I have two open, uh, sorry, I have two network devices, uh, two virtual network adapter has been attached to this particular virtual machine and if i go to the console you will also see here uh, i have my lan is as i've said you earlier right now i have also created a virtual machine i'm using the virtual machine to access uh, uh this open sense or what what i have created okay so this is a prerequisite for uh, open message to be installed and managed in a proxmox as and uh, use uh, open sense uh, to route your traffic. So without waiting further, let's get started. Uh, so what I'm going to hear is the first thing is that I'm going to install uh, open vSwitch slash switch. So how do I do that? I go to the uh, my node, I go to shell and uh, in shell I'll just type apt install open vSwitch hyphen switch. It's all single word. I will leave this command in the chat box you can use this and once you press it, it will install Open vSwitch. And once you have installed the Open, OV, basically Open vSwitch is nothing but OVS. And if you go to the networking, you will already, if you click on create here, you will have uh, something called OVS bridge. This is nothing but the bridge that you're going to create on Open vSwitch that we have just now installed. So my plan is I'm going to create a bridge and I'm going to name this bridge as a, a VLAN bridge. Okay, and then again, I'm going to click on create, and I'm click, I'm, 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 I'm going to create two VLAN uh, IP. Uh, I would say, so the first VLAN that I'm going to create here is that it's going to be a uh, for my Windows machine. So it is going to be a VLAN, and I'm going to use a tag hundred. And yeah, there we go. I used hundred here. Uh, VLAN tag is hundred, and I'll click on create. And another VLAN which I'm going to create here is it's going to be a, a VLAN for a guest user. So again, I'm going to create OVS uh, import and the VLAN uh, 200. I'm going to use tag as a 200. And uh, yeah, one thing that I want to make sure here is that in the OVS bridge, we have to always select the bridge that we have created for the VLAN. And the bridge that I have created for the VLAN is a VMBR2. So I'll click on VMBR2 here. I will go to the uh, my VLAN 100 and I'll make sure that, uh, okay, you see here, it has already picked up my active VMBR1, which is my uh, the bridge that I'm using for the OpenSense firewall. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to remove this and I'm going to click again on create, click, and it's going to be VLAN 100. And I'll have to make sure that it's VMBR2. And the, and the comment is VLAN, Windows VLAN. And create. And this is going to be for my guest user. And I click on apply configuration. So there we go. So now 
in my current setup, what I have done is that I have added a new VMBR2 and I have created two VLAN on top of that VMBR. So this is the parent interface, this is the child interface. Now what I will do here is that I'll go to my OpenSense firewall, I'll go to the hardware, I'll click on add, I'll, and I click on add new network devices, and I'm going to select my VMBR2, that is a VLAN bridge, and I click on add. So yeah, so now new network device has been added to my virtual machine, which is being utilized by OpenVASense. So not OpenSense, I go to the virtual machine, I go to the console here. And now if I go to my interface, and uh, if I go to the other types, and here I have a VLAN. So now if I click on add here, you will see something that I, uh, I have VNet1, VNet, zero and vnet two so vnet one and vnet zero is already utilized and vnet two is something that we have just now added that is a parent interface for our ovs switch so i'll click on uh, vtnet two and i'll click on the vlan type 100 and click on save similarly i'm going to click on add i'm going to select the uh, vtnet two and i'm going to select the type 200 and then i click on save and once I have added this to VLAN, I'm click on apply here. And once I have applied uh, this interface, then I need to assign that in, uh, I do an assi I need to do an assignment for that interface. So if I go to assignment and if I click on uh, you see uh, VTNet two tag hundred, and if I come here, I need to name this as a this is going to be Windows. VLAN add and then other one what I have is the uh, 200 and this is going to be um, uh, a guest guest VLAN and click on add once I've added this two uh, interface you will start seeing them here and once they are here, we need to go to each interface that we have created. We need to click on Enable Interface. And uh, we need to click on Assign an um, IP address. Uh, so VLAN, Enable Interface, and And the range which I am going to send is 192.1.2.1 and the range is going to be slash 24. And I click on save. Right? And now once I have added this, uh, or once I have enabled VLAN interface, I need to make sure that my DHCP server is also active. So how to make sure that my DSC server is active? I need to go to services. I need to go to ISC, DSCP v4. I go to v, Windows VLAN. I will enable my DSCP server here. And I'm going to assign the range. So range is going to be 192.168.2.100.200. And then I click on save and once it is saved i would uh yeah just go to my go back to interface go to the vlan and make sure uh, all of these things looks good to me looks good apply configuration Okay, so my interface has been enabled now. Similarly, I'm going to do this for my guest VLAN. Come here, enable interface, and I'm going to select as a starting T4. And for them, I'm going to use dot three dot one slash twenty four. Click on save. I go to my services, DSCP v four, my guest VLAN. Enable the guest VLAN and then 
basically uh, we done and I click on save here and once it is saved I go back to my interface guess we will apply configuration perfect so now my both interface are active and I have assigned an uh, IP range and I have also adjusted my DHCP server according to the IP range what I have assigned. So now let's go to the firewall and let's create a couple of firewall here, firewall rule here. So first firewall rule what I'm going to create here is that I go to rules here, I go to my uh, Windows VLAN, I click on add rule here. And the first rule what I'm going to create here is uh, uh, this is the interface is going to be VLAN uh, anything which is coming in or going out and uh, the source is going to be uh, the VLAN networks I would allow for any destination so basically what are we going to do here is that any devices that's that's on this particular network can access any port or any destination right and I click on apply configuration Similarly, I'm going to do this for the guest user as well, the guest VLAN as well. I click on add here and I'm going to uh, click on pass and anything from my guest networks, I would allow them and I click on apply. You can also create some more, uh, you know, uh, rule here, something like uh, deny a block and block anything from the guest interface uh, going to the destination is going to be um, uh, uh, our what I would say VLAN network uh, we should block them so what happens here is that uh, any anyone who's from this particular network try to access uh, the VLAN network devices, it, they will be blocked from it using it. Again, uh, um, that's not the purpose of this video. I'm just doing this for just so just so just so that you should you, you should be aware about it. And I click on save and apply configuration. Great. Okay, so. Now the configuration is completed. Let's go ahead and test this. So how do we going to test this? It's testing is going to be very simple. I will go to the hardware. I will remove my existing network device. Or I, I will keep it. I'll click on edit. I will select the bridge, which is our VLAN bridge. And I'm going to select the tag on it. So as you're already aware, the tag that I'm using for this uh, Windows machine is 100. I click on 100 here. I go to console and I go to ncpa.cpl. And let me, let me see you see the. So now, yeah, there, there you see, you see now, uh, this is basically assigning the IP address that we have select for the, selected for the VLAN 100. So VLAN 100 is our Windows uh, VLAN, and for that we have uh, IP addresses range is 192.168.2.100. Now let me do the similar test for other networks. So I'll go here, I change the tag to 200, I'll click on OK. I come. I go back to my virtual machine, and if I do an IP config again, it's not changed. Let me go here. It says it's identifying it, so I will give it some more time. It goes to the uh, you know the interface and uh, goes to DHCP server and get the new IP from the DHCP server. Okay, so let this identification is completed. Now let me do IP config here. Yeah. 
Okay, it has not assigned any IP address for this particular. Let me go back and troubleshoot. Let's go back to console again and enable this device. Okay, for some reason, the DHCP server is not reachable for the guest uh, users, but just just to make sure that this is how you can use open vSwitch in your virtualize or your virtual environment with the help of open vSwitch and Proxmox and OpenSense. If you're watching till here, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or comment, please uh, feel free to drop them in the chat box. Thank you.